Bathroom storage is one of those things we can never have enough of, but today I'm going to show you some crazy ideas that are going to add a ton of storage to your space. Let's go. Hello, welcome to The Crafty Organizer. If you are coming back, it's so nice to see you again. And if you're new, welcome. On this channel, I love bringing you ideas for organizing, decluttering, doing DIYs, upcycles, and anything crafty on a budget. I want to share some great ideas. Some of them are crazy, but I want to show you how to add storage to your bathroom. And these are ideas that are super affordable and easy to do. Let's get right to it by starting with over the toilet shelving. Utilizing the space over a toilet by installing an over the toilet shelving unit is one of the easiest ways to add storage to your bathroom. Now you can get these pretty affordably, but they usually don't have a lot of shelving space. The more expensive units are going to have a sturdier unit with more organizing and storage capacity. So be aware of that as you're looking at these units. If you've been a long time viewer, you know in my old house, I had a little bathroom closet and I put in storage for under $20. I did this by adding cleats to the side of the walls, adding in inexpensive pine shelves. I also added a decorative trim to the front that looked kind of like this to just elevate the look of it. But if you don't have side walls, you could always use inexpensive brackets to put up shelves and that would look more like this. Another inexpensive way to add storage is to hang baskets. You can use this to store towels, toilet paper, basically any bathroom essentials, as long as it's pretty lightweight. But you could also add small wooden boxes or baskets. This would create a shelf and storage on the inside. And don't forget about the space where hanging racks are because you could always hang lightweight baskets from there to really maximize storage. Another quick and easy way to add storage is adding magnetic strips inside of your medicine cabinet, cabinet doors, or even on the sides of drawers. But you could also use command strips if you don't want to do magnetic things because of weight. Now one of my favorite ways to maximize storage is using drawer organizers. Invest in drawer organizers to maximize the space inside any type of drawer. This can really help to separate and organize small items like makeup, hair accessories, or medications. These don't have to be expensive. You can get them from the Dollar Tree or Upcycle boxes. Don't forget that Upcycle I just showed you a week or two ago where I took a box, cut up the lid, and was able to create sectioned areas for this organizer. Tension rods are one of my favorite ways to create storage because you can put them in so many different places. Remember, I did the vertical two tension rods to create a grid system right here in my own craft room, but you can use those shower storage rods that go the full length of your shower and just make it smaller to fit on top of a counter space if you don't have any cabinets. You could organize all of your small toothbrushes, toiletries right there. By adding a secondary rod, you can use this little shoe organizer to put your toiletries in and you could cut it down to fit the size. Or by adding the extra rod on the other side, it would give you a ledge for all of those toiletries. And if you still need more space, you could hang baskets and have all of these things drying in the shower when you're not using them, but having easy access when you do. Now, of course, I really love upcycling things, so consider upcycling and repurposing things for storage in your bathroom. If you have an old wine rack, consider using it for the towels in your bathroom. An old suitcase would become a wonderful makeshift medicine cabinet, but upside down wooden hangers would be so cute as hooks for your bathrobe and a small space for hanging towels. Consider mounted mason jars for organizing all of your little things that you need in the bathroom, but even an old hanging fruit basket could be helpful on one of your hanging rods. And of course, you know I like using drawers. Consider using that for storage as well as adding a bar for hanging a towel. Now one of the most overlooked spaces is above your door. Now above the door in your bathroom holds one of the most underused storage spaces. With a couple of small brackets and an inexpensive piece of wood, you can create so much hidden storage that would be easy to access, out of the way, and not taking up any additional space. Now you can always consider adding something wall mounted to your space. 
In the current house I'm living in, there was an underutilized space between the sink and the wall, and we needed more storage. So I ran to my Ikea, went straight to the as is section. They have this corner where they have large pieces of materials, and that's usually the first place I go to. But on this particular visit, they had these drawers. I'm not even sure what they were supposed to go to, but they had a lot of them clearance down to $7 and it gave me enough wood to get an idea for making shelves in that bathroom. So I drew up kind of a rough plan of creating cleats and using the bottom of the drawer as the backing so it would look like one big built-in. I used alien tape because I did not want to damage the existing cabinet that was mounted. I worked on making sure that everything was level and plumb. I put up cleats along the back and on the wall side, and again, use the alien tape as a cleat on that cabinet. I used the bottom as a back and added the other two shelves repeating that cleat system. That took this underutilized area and created a place for me to add so much storage. Now, if you're a renter, this would be hard to do, but at the end of the day, it ended up being 12 screws, which would be super easy to remove, putty up, and touch up with paint. So I purposely built this one so we could remove it in case my husband hated it or in case we move and he doesn't want to have that up. So don't be afraid of getting creative with your storage, but here's one more idea I want to share with you. The back of the door is such a great place to add storage. The Alpha system from the container store, while it's a little bit pricey, here is one of the best systems I've ever seen, but they do sell less expensive items that are made out of a fabric. There are also smaller basket styles. So, so consider using these if you're looking for extra storage space for those items and giving yourself more hooks. If you can save your wall space for storage and not use it for towels, that is going to free up so much wall space. What have you done to add space in your storage? I was trying to avoid adding furniture pieces because I know not everyone has a big bathroom, but if you've done something creative, please share it in the comments below. I know the other viewers would really appreciate getting those tips and suggestions that have worked for you. I am so excited. If you saw the short on the what I thought was a scam but actually turned out to be a real thing, I got a random email with no information just saying, hey, do you want this? And I thought, right. All they asked for was my address, so I sent it off. It was for a laser machine. And you guys, I got a We Create laser machine. It is stunning, and I am ridiculously excited to share it with you. So I'm working on playing with it. I've been asking you what questions you have about it, what materials you want to see. So if you haven't already watched that short, check it out. Leave me a comment there, not here, but on the short so that I know what questions specifically you have for that laser machine. I'm already thrilled to death with it but I wanna bring you all of the information that I can so that you can decide for yourselves what you think about this machine. So make sure you're subscribed to watch that one. Thank you so much for watching today. Thank you as always to my patrons for allowing me to make these videos and I will see you guys in just a few days. Bye.